What is up, everybody? This is your Big Neighborhood Big Mike here, bringing you some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, can't exactly remember. Uh, wait, never mind, never mind. Uh, where we left off was. We had met with some old. another old friend. Who was about to go to battle with, I guess, some more. Or, uh, some more brutal, I guess, Vikings, you could say. But we're gonna continue that story right now and then probably head to uh, Vinland. So, uh, before I get too far in this, don't forget to subscribe and hope you enjoy it. Let's jump into this shit. Stretch your wings sooner. I thought I was gonna land in the water. Guess feckin' not. So close on that one. Oh, I'm not gonna try that shit again. You found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Have a look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Willy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. 
When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us. But that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father. He hasn't got long. Come to the longhouse. Himmler Jarl is at the edge of the dam. I must see him before he goes. to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Avon. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heminger Jarl. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. and die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. Dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I. I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am. of what you will become. Oh, 
matter. I... Uh, I... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Aid me, be my eyes. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful. Perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and w If you fancy around the... I'll flight with... Perfect. With a wager. My wager. Thank you. Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. You're a fool and a braggart, and simply obtuse. Hmm. Expected you to be a bit... Sp I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. By your words, good sir, I am far from stung. Not very good. I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. Well, uh, this is awkward, but uh, this sort of thing happens to everyone from time to time. Uh, take a rest and return. Ah. Let us... With pleasure. My way... Thank you. Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just... While I doubt you... That was deli... So, uh, what... It was only a... F yes, of course. It's been a troop. 
What do you see, Sunan? Journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Yal. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trigve. I pledged my life's oath to Heminger Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. ...to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Heming I desired my counsel before he died. ...wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety.
Carlita. Just true. You are the wolf kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. 
A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriak with ale and open arms. the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you all go what is to come? I see what need be seen. When it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleepy. Do not seek answer. A Jarl. Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death, 
am I rendered silent? Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Shire's fate is uncertain. My decision. I still do. Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eivor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
You have seen what was needed. I have more than enough. for Hemming come with much grief. Did you see that sobbing sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. Where can they ever do it, Here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Show me what lies ahead. Exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. Beard. 
you're a difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Ayal is dead. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Yes, Heminger's heart was as steady as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Wirthen, nine lines that write our fates, past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? I still need to con. By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, uh, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless speed. Is this your choice? I s By his determination to keep his clan. The mark of vague visir. Is this your decision? I s By his determ. The mark of. Is this your decision? Yes. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger would be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear.
festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trickvy. I'll do what I can to calm things. They are going to kill him! I told him not to do it! Now he's come out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! <laughs> People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk! Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy order? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Heminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead! Heminger would laugh at the very idea. <laughs> I need your eyes, my friend. What is this voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help! Fire! Save my food, I burns! Help! Fire! Save my food, I burns! <laughs> ah, too hot! If this is your voda, you dare surtur's heat. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Go, Sunin. Watch yourself. The voda sneaks up on you quick. Hmm. 
Sunan, guide me. Stay back, foul bitch! Flee, warrior, flee! Loki's horde lays waste here! You mean Hemminger's famous fighting monsters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their wrath! Thank you, mighty Thor. When you sober up, the order seems to have been restored. Now to treat me, to let him know. I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. The Alding is tomorrow, and a Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Suniva about this. Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trikvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. 
A man that people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Heminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! Trikvi has no Jarl to serve Vili. He's free to set his own course to the ocean's edge, to trade this world for the next. As are you, Vili. Our lives belong to us. Thank you. Thank you, Eivor. Vili, do not misplace your anger on friends who speak what they believe is truth. <sighs> do as you must, Trikvi. I... I will miss you, old friend. And I you, my boy. I must prepare myself for the flames, body and spirit. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Arsh stick! You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. Tell no one of this. The last thing we need is a dozen more bodies for hemming us pyre. This will be a fine tale to tell after the Alding, but until then we stay quiet. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stake was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. He should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drengur. He always had me to watch his back, as children, and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, you would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. This was where Billy saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. I should not be seen in this area.
Stop, Vili. They're gone. It's done. Bah. I've seen roosters fight his yeah. boss. Great. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to follow back. Follow me. Quickly! Trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. I saw it's Thunderhammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> If you are now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, 
He had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Willy. You have family and clan. Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arstick. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on our past that way. I find it slows me down to a crawl, and I'm not made for crawling. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. Are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send of Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Jarl. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. In council, you were the wisest. At the hearth, the kindest. In battle, the bravest. May the sign of Vegavisir, the rune of the way, guide you to the hall of many doors. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger son.
Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity. His spirit. In you I see his life. And it we are the father. We... You have made this old... And you us. Nine days, one eye hung... Father... Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemford, and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. Come the next year. Does it pass from father to son? Aye, the burden is Vili's to bear. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. The declaration of succession must happen soon. While Mani rides through. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. The declaration of success. I agree. Eivor! You look uneasy. I'm not so drunk I cannot stand, but... Hang on to me a moment. You do your father proud by this celebration, and by taking his seat. He wanted this, Willy. I should have given him the satisfaction of accepting his offer while he lived. He knows my heart beats for battle and glory, not leadership and wise counsel. I felt the same. But in time, we all rise to the needs of the people. Who says you won't come to enjoy it? Yes, yes, you're right. And certainly if you can lead, uh, Hemmingson can. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulk, these men, now be to me. You. My father never swore. Let it be known. I. Well. Be fair. I'm sure I will. <laughs> 
Well, that is where I'm going to cut this one off for today. If you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to see the rest of these Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos. Also, leave a like and a comment. We really appreciate it. And that's about it. Just uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you on the next one.